Mr. Parker here for the longest update of my YouTube career. Uh, that's right, it's a career now. But let me start off, hop right in here, because it's going to be probably three or four videos. Uh, first off, uh, Extra and Meteor was talking about this. I always wanted to get it, heard about it. Heard it was ungodly boring, so I didn't. Uh, Scream by um, Shriek Show DVD, Code Red and Shriek Show, I believe, together did this one. Uh, I hear it's a boring uh, 80s slasher, but I guess some people do enjoy it, so Scream. And then we have a Big Lots buy, three bucks for the Stepford Wives, the original. Never seen it, never had it. Three bucks, couldn't pass it up. Then we have, uh, this one was at uh, Walmart. It was Dan Curtis's Dracula starring Jack Plants. Jack Plants is awesome, so I grabbed it. For three dollars, you can't beat it. Uh, I meant for three for seven fifty. I mean, that's about the run-of-the-mill price here for this one uh, for a good deal. So I grabbed it. Another one, I can't believe there's a Jess Franco movie I found at Walmart, but it's Jess Franco's Count Dracula with Christopher Lee. Don't hear too many great things about this one, but same price, $7.50, grabbed it. Uh, these are MPI releases, I believe. Yeah, this one's Dark Sky Films, so cool. And then uh, from On Earth Films, we have Regurgitated Sacrifice, the sequel to Slaughtered Vomit Dolls. Haven't got a chance to watch this, but dear God, that looks horribly sickening. I hear, uh, I don't know, mixed things, but all disgusting things about this one. Then we have uh, Fear of Clowns, which is a limited edition. I won in uh, Lucas's contest. Uh, this is limited and signed by the director. Pretty cool. I've yet to watch this one. And then here we have a bootleg that someone sent me that tried to pass off as a real thing. Really annoying. Uh, Snuff 102. It's clearly a bootleg. The guy tried to say it wasn't, but look how shoddy this is. I mean, the guy must think I'm a fucking retard. I think it's a bootleg. If anyone knows New Vision Video, which I've never heard of, and come on, look at that. I mean, maybe the director released it himself. I'm holding out hope, but I strongly doubt it. Uh, it even smells like bootleg, if that makes sense. Then we have uh, Run Bitch Run, which uh, came all busted up and a little bit scratched, so I, 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 I complained, and they just gave it to me for free, Run Bitch Run. Uh, Worm Infested did a review for this one. Uh, looks like a throwback to exploitation movies. I believe Savini 1979 did one, too. Um, you have to watch it. Looks fun. Looks like something, something I like. This one looks awesome from the director of Untold Story and Bull Eye Syndrome, Taxi Hunter. Stars Anthony Wong going on a mad, crazy spree. I uh, had to see it. Taxi Hunter. You have to watch it. And then we have another one here. I'm not going to be able to say this, so I'm not even going to try to say it. Uh, there we go. Banquet of the Beast. I hear this one's insane. Uh, 81 Oak Ridge picked this up too. This is the two disc. Looks pretty cool. Arts magic. So, there we go. And then we have Live Animals, which I hear mixed things about. Uh, torture film. Not sure if it's any good. I picked it up. Then we have another I got really cheap, Stay Hungry, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Also has Jeff Bridges and Robert England and R.G. Armstrong. Strange cast. It's a comedy, but that cast, let alone, is worth checking out just to see the bizarreness of it. Then we have this one. Came scratched up, but it was so cheap, it came rattling. One side looks alright, one side looks bad. So this is Solar Babies. Uh, not sure if it's going to play. I'm pretty sure it will, but if it doesn't, I'll return it and get a new one. I uh, haven't seen Solar Babies. Look like fun 80s stuff. So Then we have this one, which was really cheap from uh, Oldies as well. It's a double feature Midnight Movies, Two-Headed Transplant, and The Thing with Two Heads. Uh, these movies look really funny to me, so I had to pick them up. Really look politically incorrect for the time. So, And then we got... Uh, I know uh DVD team was talking about this one, and it sounded like I would love it. Hannah D., the girl from Bondell Street. Vondell Park. Yeah, I heard there's some smuggling of drugs in a horrible place in this movie. This one looks awesome. Severn Films. Then we have the Black Devil Doll from, uh, just Black Devil Doll. Yeah, I always want to say From Hell because that old crumb ball movie. But uh, this one, uh, the best thing about it is the cover and like the fake makeup posters. And there's a beginning, there's a, like a funny scene. But I just was really disappointed with this one. I heard great things and uh, I wasn't that happy with it. Uh, and I showed it with a group of friends, and they really disliked it as well, and it was the first time I watched it. I didn't care for it too much. Then we have Sexual Parasite, a.k.a. Killer Pussy. And uh, Extra the Mutilators, this one's great, so I can't wait to uh, dig into this one. Then we got uh, Karum Hussein uh, Collection. Uh, one of the double discs on this one came scratched up. I believe it was a session. The second disc was rattling. I got it brand new, and it was rattled. It wasn't too badly scratched, but it really irritated me. I bought it mostly for Beautiful Beast and Subconscious Cruelty, though, so I wasn't... And it's the second disc of this one. Oh, uh, we got this one. I know Chocolate Torpedo bought this, too, and I know Very Crude the Yours has it. Uh, a Beautiful Beast. And, of course, Subconscious Cruelty. These movies look insane. Uh, I haven't seen any of his work. Uh, I'm really looking forward to watching these. Look like awesome, crazy art house score. I don't know what to expect really, but if Very Clearly Yours likes it, it must be good. 
Then we got uh, the subspecies collection, which I always wanted to pick up. I don't know if I've seen these as a kid or not. It comes with one, two, three, four, and vampire journals. Uh, full moon goodness. And then we got uh, Movie Murder Loves Killers 2. I did a review for this one. It's a fun throwback to slasher movies with a nice kind of twist. Uh, worth a look if you're interested in that kind of stuff. If you want to see my review, head over to DVD Fiends. comes with a nice mini poster. And then we have, uh, what is this one? Attraction from Cult Epics. DVD Fiend sent it to me as a gift. It was pretty cool of him. Uh, it's by Tito Brass, I believe. Yep, I heard this one's kind of insane. Crazy little movie. Uh, and then we have, uh, made by the director himself, the DVDs. Classic nudist colony of the dead, dead, dead. That's basically the movie. That's the highlight of the movie, the music. It's a musical horror zombie comedy thing. It's really stupid, but really funny. Ungodly funny. Nudist colony of the dead. Then we have uh, I Sell the Dead, which I heard was pretty decent from Savini 1979. You have to watch this one. I got a good price on it, so I picked it up. I Sell the Dead. And then, of course, we have the Hard Bodies Collection. I've never seen these ones, but I do like the 80s sex comedies. Like, Revenge of the Nerds is one of my favorite movies. So this is Hard Bodies 1 and 2. And then we have uh, this one. I remember. I can't remember his name saying this one was a pretty good movie. The Boys Next Door with Charlie Sheen, Anchor Bay release. He said this one was actually kind of disturbing for what it was, and so I picked it up. And then we have... Uh, one that was five bucks. I had the uh, regular edition, but this is the axe kicking edition of Kung Fu Hustle, the uncut one. Uh, this movie's pretty damn funny, pretty cool movie for five bucks. It only cost five bucks at Best Buy a while back, so I grabbed it. Cool movie. Insane. Really silly. And then we have the sequel to Short Circuit. I don't know why I grabbed this. It was just an impulse buy. I like Short Circuit 1, and I had it, so I grabbed it for five bucks, Short Circuit 2. And then we have some Blu rays that I picked up. We got the unrated director's cut of Drag Me to Hell. Yet to watch this one, so I don't know if it's any good. And then we have the director's cut of Cabin Fever. I did watch this. It's a little bit better than uh, the regular cut. Uh, some little bit more gore. A little bit more explained. Uh, Cabin Fever is an awesome movie. Then we have the Blu-ray of The Lost, six ninety-nine Big Lots. I mean, uh, Best Buy. Uh, I'll enjoy this movie. I haven't watched the Blu-ray yet. Really like this one. Another one by uh, Jack Ketchum wrote, The Girl Next Door, which is a great movie too. Blu-ray, six ninety-nine. Uh, enjoy this one too, recommended. And then we have uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Barely remember this movie. Remember not liking Counter Reeves' accent, so I haven't watched it forever, but the Blu ray was only 10 bucks, so I figured I'd give it another shot. And then we got Red Mist, which was $6.99 by the director of Shrooms. Yet to watch Shrooms, and yet to watch this one, but $6.99 Blu ray. There you go. And then let me grab another stack. Sorry about that.